Hello, my friends. It's time for Thought Shifting Thursday. <clears throat> Let's see. Just positioning my camera here. And uh, so, it is Thanksgiving. is the day that we celebrate in our country. But, um, you know, did, did, did uh, I'm sure a lot of you do know that today is a day of mourning for many Native American people um, because the um, the story that's told in our schools is all about a celebration of Thanksgiving for um, Native people and settlers, uh, colonizers coming together. And um, that's not the story that is passed down through Native tradition because, and it's not the facts either, because the facts were that, yeah, um, Natives and settlers came together um, for the first Thanksgiving, but um, and and most of the food was provided by by the uh, the natives, and uh, but later on um, there were massacres. There was essentially genocide of uh, various native tribes, and so it's a day of mourning. And so I'm going to read today. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to say about that. Um, I've got a link in the description to uh, more information about this day and the uh, event that happens in, uh, in Plymouth, Massachusetts every year. And uh, <clears throat> I watched it live today and it's, it'll, be, um, it'll be on that site uh, recorded. Uh, and they'll, they'll put the recording up in the next day or two, is what I understand. So you can watch that. Um, you can donate to various um, Native American causes, you know, especially the reservations that are still, you know, people are still suffering. Um, Pine Ridge Reservation is a is an um, is a, a charity that we we support uh, through donations from our our sweat lodge and um, yeah, there's just uh, it's a day of mourning. So I'm going to read this. I usually cry when I read it, so if that happens, it's okay. This great father sends word that he wishes to buy our land. Oh, let me give me some background of this. So this was uh, a speech given by, by Chief Seattle back in, I don't have the date here, um, 1800s. And um, there are many versions of it, so um, this isn't quoted exactly. And uh, because several people wrote down um, what they, uh, or, you know, recorded later what they heard. So it wasn't like directly from... Chief Seattle, so there's many different interpretations. This is the one that I really like, though. This great father sends word that he wishes to buy our land. But how, how can you buy or sell the land, the sky? The idea is strange to us. If we do not own the freshness of the air and the sparkle of the water, how can you buy them? Every part of the earth is sacred to my people. Every shining pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every meadow, every humming insect, all are holy in the memory and experience of my people. We know the sap which courses through the trees as we know the blood that courses through our veins. We are part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The bear, the deer, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The rocky crests, the dew in the meadow, the, the body heat of the pony, and man all belong to the same family. The shining water that moves in the streams and rivers is not just water, but the blood of our ancestors. If we sell you our land, you must remember that it is sacred. Each glossy reflection in the clear waters of the lakes tells of events and memories in the life of my people. The water's murmur is the voice of my father's father. The rivers of our brothers they quench our thirst, they carry our canoes and feed our children. So you must give the rivers the kindness that you would give any brother. If we sell you our land, remember that the air is precious to us, that the air shares its spirit with all life that supports it. The wind that gave our grandfather his first breath also received his last sigh. The wind also gives our children the spirit of life. So if we sell you our land, you must keep it apart and sacred as a place where man can go to taste the wind that is sweetened by the meadow flowers. Will you teach your children 
what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. What befalls the earth befalls all the sons of the earth. This we know, the earth does not belong to man, man belongs to the earth. All things are connected like the blood that unites us all. Man did not weave the web of life, he is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. One thing we know, our God is also your God. The earth is precious to him, and to harm the earth is to heap contempt on its creator. Your destiny is a mystery to us. What will happen when the buffalo are all slaughtered, the wild horses tamed? What will happen when the secret corners of the forest are heavy with the scent of many men, and the view of the ripe hills is blotted with talking wires? Where will the thicket be? Gone. Where will the eagle be? Gone. And what is to say, and what is it to say goodbye to the swift pony and then hunt? The end of living and the beginning of survival. When the last red man has vanished with this wild wilderness and his memory is only the shadow of a cloud moving across the prairie, will these shores and forests still be here? Will there be any of the spirit of my people left? And I'll answer that question in a moment. We love this earth as a newborn loves its mother's heartbeat. So if we sell you our land, love it as we have loved it. Care for it as we have cared for it. Hold it in your mind. Hold in your mind the memory of the land as it is when you receive it. Preserve the land for all children and love it as God loves us. As we are part of the land, you too are part of the land. This earth is pressure, precious to us. It also must be precious to you. So as we know, um, hi Sue, my good friend Sue, my high school buddy. Uh, Naomi's not on with us today. That's the first time in a long time. So um, so yeah, and we know uh, now that the, the cell of the land was not a... Uh, really a sale, was it? It was more, uh, more accurately stolen. And um, yes, the, uh, the atrocities that, uh, that happened, and, and, and not just for Native American people, but, but um, First Nations people of all lands, you know, it just has been over, over the history. You know, the Native American people were, it was genocide, millions and millions of people killed. Blankets with smallpox were given to certain tribes in order to, to you know, purposely kill them. Um, their men, children, women, uh, raped and killed um, to acquire the land that we now live on. Um, and the, uh, you know, Pine Ridge Reservation, um, and we, we had someone come here, uh, uh, Wayland uh, was an elder from Pine Ridge Reservation, did a a sweat lodge, a healing sweat lodge for someone with cancer here. He drove all the way from um, South Dakota, because he doesn't fly, he doesn't use planes, um, to do this, this ceremony and brought some, some, uh, some braves with him. And um, so we learned more about Pine Ridge Reservation at that time, how um, the, you know, all of the, the houses, shacks really, um, they look like they've been shot up with machine guns. Um, they have, you know, several families living in one small shack. <clears throat> um, the uh, unemployment rate is something like 80%. The um, fetal alcohol syn syndrome is, is, uh, is, I think, about that same percentage. Um, so the, the, um, the plight of these people continues, you know, after all these years. Um, but if you go to the link and see the event today, you'll see that the, the message from, uh, from the Native Americans is that we have, we have survived and we will thrive. We ain't going away. So, um, you know, on this day where most people in our country uh, celebrate Thanksgiving, let's also say a prayer and um, uh, certainly be in... Uh, to be mindful of this day of mourning for Native Americans and, uh, and, and again, for First Nations people everywhere. So that's our message for today. 
Um, have uh, a happy one, but hold in your heart um, the, the plights of all people who have been oppressed everywhere and always. All right. We love you, and uh, we will see you next week. Take care.